Hello, welcome to BMC Helix Video Solution. In this video, I will be covering steps to download and install Linux connector. Then we'll stop and start a connector service. Let's get started. So here's the document link for your reference. So as a prerequisite, we need to ensure that the Linux connector are available in Red Hat Enterprise 7, 8 and 9 version. We need to make sure that user have the sudo permission to install the connector. Alternatively, we can use the root user as well. So I will log into the Helix portal now. I will launch PMC Helix Log Analytics. From the collection menu, we'll select the connectors. We'll click on create. We'll provide the name like test followed by a server name. I'm using rel8 server here. So I am selecting rel8 from the drop down. We'll download the tar file and script. Uh, as you can see, both the file gets downloaded in my download section. I have already transferred this file in my Linux server under OPT directory. So as you can see, my files are already present under OPT directory. So let's log into the server. So I have copied the installation script and tar file under OPT directory. So we'll navigate to the OPT directory. We'll list the files. My installation script and tar file is present here. Let's extract the tar file by running the following command. So the connector file will be extracted in the BMC dev tools folder. We'll do LL. Just navigate to BMC dev tools. Here you can see the TD agent is present. We'll run the installation script. The installation script does not have the execute permission. We'll provide the required permission. Now we'll run the installation script. Here, uh, we have not provided any username or group name. So the default user TD agent will be created if we have not provided anything. Here, TD agent user will be created. We will proceed further. Same uh, goes for group name. So as you can see, TD agent service installed successfully. Now we'll start the connector service System CTL start TD agent service. Now we'll save this. So as you can see, the status of the connector is in active state. As we have already started the TD agent service, we'll check the status. As you can see, the service is in running state. Now we'll stop the connector service. So as you can see, it is stopped and in inactive state. So in this video, we have covered how to install and manage the Linux connector and how to stop and start the connector service. Thank you for watching.